dude, dude, we are in the renaissance right now still. We are in the renaissance and we are shaping it, the renaissance, that they will look back on in 500 years and talk about it as a renaissance in humanity. Next will be holographic projection. And it, it'll be like video, you know? It'll be like someone's in the same room with you. And like they'll be talking, it'll seem like they're talking to you in the same room. Holographic projection. Just projection of, of things. Projected visual. We already do it like we project onto a wall. We have like 3D. They can do it. But it ha it's not like it hasn't yet entered mainstream society, holographic projection. But it'll be used for ads and for communication. And maybe the military will utilize it. But I think that we're headed towards a pacifist nation, a pacifist world. The U.S. is becoming pacifist. We'll have a standing army, and it'll be a strong, powerful standing army. But we won't need... Massive, massive, massive. I mean, we already we have the weaponry. We don't need conscription. We don't need extra troops. We have the cultural capability, the technological capability, the monetary capability, and we don't need a huge, intimidating army because we are everyone's friend. That's the whole point of getting the power is so that you can help the other people without threat of violence. So the next step is that we will become a pacifist nation. And I think we must become balanced if we're going to use projection, video projection technology. Already, video is very dangerous. It can overwhelm a person. Hitler used mass media to manipulate the population. He was one of the first, and it overwhelmed him, and he went insane. Now we've learned from that. And it won't happen. But projection, video projection, will be a new thing. And we can't do it until we are balanced. With this, this idea of hate and anger and violence that we are invading and all of these things that the people in power have chosen to do will stop. And a better way will be found through diplomacy utilizing the new technologies and spreading the technology to other people so that we can use the technology with them. Digital society is happening and it's it's becoming integrated into regular society. And there will come a point in all of our lives when we have to realize that being around someone literally is well I was going to say it's it's unreproducible but technology is good but still being around someone right now it's it's there's nothing like it and I don't know that technology can reproduce being around someone so it's the balance We can't become overwhelmed and be like cyber gods. Well, I can't. I can and I won't. To be like the cyber guy. Like, oh, the guy on the internet. You know, you hear about like the villain on the internet that's like, lives in the internet. It won't happen. Because real life is so important. Not re the physical reality that we're manipulating with the bodies. We built this technology. Not to be, forget that we built it. Always that we built it and it is not human.